Right, uh, good morning everybody. Here we are. Just loaded the car up and uh, when I get on site, um, my target location, I'll run through the equipment that I brought with me today. Um, so we're going off to the Salisbury Plain, following that uh, great discussion with Phil Smith uh, the other day on the bird table. Um, target birds today, um, I'm thinking barn owl, uh, might be lucky to see a, a hen harrier, um, great bustard maybe, uh, and uh, the icing on the cake would be a lovely merling on a post, but that's, uh, that's probably unlikely. Okay, it's about a quarter to seven now. I've got probably 45 minutes of traveling to do, so uh, let's get on and I'll see you there. So we've uh, just arrived on the Salisbury Plain, so we're on the edge of the Salisbury Plain at the moment. Um, now arrived uh, at a site that I've been told there, there might be some barn owls flying around, uh, might be roost, roosting here. Um, just as I arrived there's a red kite and also a kestrel actually uh, hovering, but a red kite just flew right, right in front of the car and went over to the barns which are just over there, I'm not sure if you can see them. Um, that's that's uh, private property there, so we can't can't go over there. And there's another a red kite in front of me. Yeah, well, it might be the same one. Um, yeah, just quartering. That's two, two of them. Uh, that's that's excellent news. I'll, I'll turn the camera around. Uh, if they come a little bit closer, I'll try and get a little bit of video of them. It's still very dark. The 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 sun's not up at the moment. I think another 20 minutes and the the sun will be up. Um, so this is a, just a fantastic landscape, these uh, alkaline, alkaline grasslands. Um, uh, hopefully we're in for a really special few hours. Now it's, it's Christmas Eve uh, today, so I've got a few hours past, but uh, I'll probably make, wait, uh, make my way home, uh, get home for about lunchtime, and then obviously begin the festivities. Um, in fact, I can't barn out the camera around. Uh, bear with me. Well I have to say I totally fouled up there. Uh, camera wasn't ready. Uh, when I raised it it was in video mode. By the time I sorted it all out literally the barn owl flew past. If I'd have kept it on the record mode I would have had some fantastic video. So I was reaching for me uh, reaching for my camera. I kind of missed that shot and then it perched on uh, you'll see over here there's a post perched on that post there, that sign, and uh, you know, by the time I raised my camera, I got it all sorted, it flew off. Uh, but it's still around, so I'll, I'll hang around. Uh, obviously the light's going to improve, and I'm hopefully going to get some shots before it goes into roost. Probably just catch the barn out quartering on the track.
fantastic. Well, you know, I've been here 10 minutes, two kites, a Kestra and a bar now. It's, it's you know, unbelievable. But, uh, I need to sharpen up. So this is new to me. The first time I used a video recorder was about five weeks ago. Um, so it's learning all the time. I'm making lots of mistakes with video recording. The trouble is I'm trying to do thing, two things now, the video and the photography. So it's going to be a challenge. And there's the bar now again. Right, the uh, bar now just flew past again and it's quartering in front of me. Um, <clears throat> I got some shots, but it was like uh, ISO was crazy, over 6,000 ISO. So they're going to be terribly grainy shots and low shutter speed just to try and keep the ISO down. A flock of starlings just flew over. I'll see it quartering in the field again. If it comes close, I'll try and get a little bit of video. I've got more chance of just getting some, some footage and taking decent, decent uh, stills. So the, uh, the activity's died down a little bit now, um, so no barn now, I don't think it's gone into roost yet I wouldn't have thought, but uh, the sun's not up um, over the horizon, so I'm really waiting for the sun to get a bit of light so I can take some decent shots should it reappear, uh, but what, a, what an awesome, awesome start. Um, so it's a little bit awkward today, so it's the first time I've been out trying to capture video and also stills. Uh, so I've got this SV1, uh, oh, sorry, I've got this ZV1, which is this little compact video recorder. It enables me to do selfies, which you know, I'm quite pleased with already. Um, I've also got my Sony Ace 92, uh, that's on the 200 to 600 zoom. So that, that for me is really good for birds in flight, so I'm ho ho hoping to use that with the, um, with the barn owl. With the zoom, if it comes close, I can you know reduce to two, 200 millimeter and probably get some really fantastic shots. Um, so that's a really versatile lens, really top quality lens, a whole flock of soft starlings just going over. Um, and the other uh, camera I've got is the uh, Sony A7R4 and that's on a 600 f4 uh, prime um, so you know there's no shortage of uh, good cameras and lenses here now we just need a, a few more birds right we're still on the plane um, I'm just going to drive around and pretty much show you some sights so I'm going to keep running the recorder and just show you what a fantastic landscape this is the Salisbury Plain just saw two red kites. Uh, there's one on a post and one flying and the one on the post unfortunately took off. Um, they went this way so I'm going to try and track them down, see if I can get a bit closer, uh, get some shots of the red kite. Magnificent birds and one of them in particular had superb marking so let's try and uh, see what we can get. If you can see this, but uh, there's a buzzard on a post. Beautiful buzzard. And, uh, what I'll try and do is get a little bit closer. Let's drop it down below the horizon, see if you can see a bit more.
buzzards on the plane and this is a beauty the sun's slightly to the rear you can see the light shining shining through the feathers the wing feathers it's a beautiful bird looking for a tasty morsel no doubt what a real beauty that is Beautiful kestrel. So we've just seen a flock of uh, field fare, probably about 30 field fare. is fantastic for stone chat so if I find one I'll stop and I'll take a picture well you probably can't see it but uh, this is an area very close to the Great Bustard project and there's a big field uh, to the right there uh, full of uh, turnips I think so that could be a good site for the, for the great bustard and we can see on the crest of the hill that there looks to be some birders there so there's a fair chance that there might be some bustard we've had a look at so let's get up there So oh, that's about it for today. Uh, I say it's Christmas Eve. Uh, it's absolutely glorious on the Salisbury Plain today. We're in the sort of central eastern part of the plain at the moment, um, but it has been a glorious day. I've already seen uh, red kites. I had some photographs of that, taken some photographs of the red kite. Uh, we've had kestrel, we've had uh, barn owl. Um, yeah, we've had obviously winter, winter thrushes have been around, but I've not really stopped to take any pictures. Lots of starlings. Uh, it's been, been a sur superb couple of hours already. Now I'm going to make my way back home. Uh, I'm going to drive for about maybe about five or six miles on the plane still, looking out for the Harrier. Not seen the Harrier today, but we did get the bar now. We did get red kite. We have got kestrel. Uh, so, you know, it's been a really good trip. Um, to my left is the impact area. And uh, let me just see if I can show you a bit of that. Uh, so to the left is the impact area. Uh, so there's, there's no access there when the red flag's flying, but the red flag isn't flying today. So there are tracks that you can follow. I haven't really got time to do that today. I'll save that for another, another trip and another video. Because I've got to get home, see my wife and my eight children to begin uh, the Christmas festivities. So. Uh, as I say, I'll keep the camera running as long as possible and uh, if I see any, anything of interest I will stop and take some pictures. But what a fantastic site for birding. I'd encourage anybody to give the Salisbury Plain a go. Okay, uh, see you soon.